What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata, and um, I am going to be transparent right now because I know I'm not the only person that's been going through this. I've been picking up on it a lot, but it's a lot of us who have just really kind of started to lose hope about the twin flame journey because we have been willing to forgive and forget we have been willing to move on we have persevered through all types of evil intent whether it came from the karmic that our person was with or if it came from our person directly but the type of people that we are the people that i'm picking up on and i'm including myself in this we can't harbor hate for our twin flame because we love and care for them dear, dearly. But the math hasn't been mathing for a lot of us, for a lot of these twin flame journeys. And a lot of, of divine feminists in particular are starting to wonder, are they the karmic? Because their masculine has not returned to them. And, you know, I, I'm going to tell you how I'm hearing it, okay? I'm hearing it that You are not the karmic, okay? Just because your divine masculine didn't return to you. Your divine masculine is working things out how he feels he needs to work things out, okay? I am picking up that a lot of divine masculines are still trying to get out, so to speak. They are processing the spiritual downloads they are having conversations with the universe conversations with the holy spirit the most high about their life some of these masculines have even been asking god to order their steps and god is moving things in their lives okay this is why also a lot of y'all are starting to feel despair because that's what the devil wants you to do the devil wants you to give up the devil wants you to go back to where you were at and not believe in true endearing love. That's why I made that community post this morning that everything that is true will survive. If this is a true divine connection, it will survive. It will survive lifetimes. It has survived lifetimes, okay? That's why the spiritual connection is so strong. I've been picking up on divine feminists who have been in sorrow today, in tears. They they don't understand why they have not received their divine counterpart. Some of these women are living lives of celibacy, not abstinence, but celibacy. They refuse to engage with other men because they can feel in their heart, in their soul, that this person, whoever that person is to them, is their divine counterpart. And I am picking up that is your divine counterpart. But your divine counterpart is going to have to get it when he get it. Okay? You cannot force someone to change. The only way change is going to occur is, is if someone wants to truly change. And even when we truly want to change, sometimes the challenge is so difficult that people give up. And they go back to who they were. It takes discipline to change your mind, change your life, change your spirit. Okay, but it's very hard, almost damn near impossible to change your heart. When your heart is connected to another person's heart, that shit just don't go away. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have my moments when things get hard for me. Because I do truly love and care for my twin flame. I don't care how angry I get. I don't care how things are going. That person will always have a place in my heart. And we are all guilty of saying and doing things out of hurt, out of anger, out of frustration. Telling people that we've always loved, that we don't want to have nothing else to do with them. But... That's, that's your hurt talking. And a lot of y'all masculines, they also have not been 
as quick to approach y'all because of the last conversations that y'all had with them, okay? Because these masculines, they think that you don't love them. They think that you don't care for them anymore. They think that they really did too much. It was too much. And they're scared to confront you. They're scared to approach you, okay? So if you truly love your divine counterpart, if you truly believe that that person is your tw twin flame, continue to pray for them. Continue to ask God to lead them in the direction that they are supposed to go. And I promise y'all, they will get right, okay? If that is your true, if that is truly your divine counterpart, pray for them. Ask God to remove any demonic strongholds off of their life, any karmic energies that are still digging their claws into your man, okay? We just gonna have to keep it real here. If that's your man, ask God to continue to, to help him heal. Continue to help him release what does not serve him in a positive way. Because I'm telling y'all, a lot of these divine masculines know you have not seen them yet, but they are working, okay? They are working. They're, they are trying to do the work. And again, this feeling of sorrow, this feeling of wanting to give up on true endearing divine love, that is a trick of the enemy to make you want to give up on this man and move on to another karmic energy, okay? And this ain't a message for everybody, but this is a message for a good amount of women that I've been picking up on for a while, okay? Y'all have tried to date. Y'all have tried to be with other men and God just ain't letting that shit work out. And I did a reading on this. God ain't letting that shit work out too because God is also trying to give your masculines time to get their shit together. Okay? That's just period. Your These different random men that y'all have been meeting and trying to date and even trying to be intimate with, the reason why that shit didn't work out is because that is not who you're supposed to be with. You are supposed to be with your divine counterpart, your twin flame, and he is getting his shit together. But ladies, do not give up. Divine feminines, if you, you will know, you will feel it in your shine dough if this message is for you. And if you feel it in your shine dough, then that's God saying, do not give up on your divine counterpart. Okay? And I'm going to leave it there. I ain't going to say too much. I feel like I already said enough. 808 on the phone. Do not give up on your divine counterpart if you know that that is truly who God designed and made to be with you and for you. Okay, y'all? So I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.